okay? And we'll just reset the whole thing. Just press home and press calculate. Are we cool with that? Now, we're using 3x minus 4. Does everybody see 3x minus 4? It's a function. So you press the word function, and now you have to define what it is. So you go down and press define. Is that okay? Now, what we do next is we get rid of the old one, which is this one here. It used to be 2x minus 3. Now we're going to do 3x minus 4. So we're going to press 3. Now where's the x button? Shift and 0. It's the blue x and then minus 4. Okay, I'm going to pause here. Everybody press execute and it disappears. What that basically means is it's stored. It's now stored in the calculator. Now, I want everybody to press home. I then want you to press table because we're about to make a table. Okay? And we already have f of x here, which is brilliant. So uh, the next question is, what value do we start at? We start at minus 1 and we end at 3. And for those of you with the older calculator, the step is 1. Start at minus 1. And that tree step is one. Come here, bring it up to me. Okay, everybody in the class, I want you now to start typing in your numbers. Start with minus one. I think you have to press one, and then you have to go back and press minus. Minus one. And then if you want a shortcut, you can just press plus, and it does it all for you. See that? One, two, and we'll pause there. Lads, we're at the stage where... We have a good few answers here, okay? Does everybody have the table that's on the board, roughly? Okay, and uh, could you call me out the points you got? So just what, what's minus one? Minus one what? All right, in this question, they don't want all of them, do they? They just want three of them. Lads, are you listening? They don't want all the points, they just want three of them. So they want minus seven. What's the answer for zero? Minus 4. And what's the answer for 3? What? 3 was minus 1. 3 what? 3, 5. X value 3, Y value of? 5. I want you to draw those 3 points on the graph for me. Uh, I'll have a look now. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. So, I'll show you what you're looking at and I'll show you the problem, okay? I, I know what's happening. I know what's happening, all right? I'll fix it. Okay, here's the problem. If everybody could look at this really quickly, okay? Now, this first column here, and this is what's causing the issue. This first column here, do you see this one here to the left? Just want you to ignore that it even exists. Just blank it out of your memory. Now, look at the other two. What happens when we use an X value of three? You get a y value of 5. Just blank that left mouse column out of your memory for the rest of your usage. And we know that now that it's 3, 5, don't we? Is that cool? Okay. Uh, did you bring up your calculator to me? Bring up your calculator to me. I can't answer you from here. Okay. Will everybody start drawing the points now for me? Okay, so we're going to draw these points on the graph now, okay? The first one is uh, minus 1, minus 7. So I have to go across minus 1 all the way down to minus 7. Did everybody get that one there? 0 and minus 4 are combined. Now, you can draw the other points if you want, but the next one they want me to draw is 3, 5. And what happens if I attach these by a ruler? Oh, sorry, I don't want to do that line. Uh, once I'm attached to these by a ruler, it goes all the way up, doesn't it? Yeah. Dara, will you show me that? Show you how this actually works. You ready? So, does everybody see your function here on the on the? If you could stop at the, the pens for one second, I'll be able to explain this. Okay. Now, what I'm going to show you is just the following. Okay. How does the cal What does the calculator actually do? Now, I told you to appreciate me giving you the shortcut rather than the long way. You all appreciate the shortcut, don't you? Now, here's what you'd actually have to do if you did it on your own. If you did it without the calculator, here's what it'd look like. 
you, the first thing you need to do is you need to change the x value into, you ever see the x value is minus one? And what you'd write down is three times minus one minus four. You would put that into the calculator and the calculator will tell you that the answer is minus seven. This means when you use an x value of minus one, the formula gives you an answer of minus seven. Hence, they're coupled together. If I tried the number three as an example, if I did three times three take away four, the answer would come out as five. And hence, and hence you would need to do the, the 0.35. So the calculator is doing all the hard work for you. Does everyone understand where it comes from?